Hello, welcome to Arsenal Studios. This is Learning English with Movies. In this video, we will talk about one of my favorite superhero movies, Logan. If you're new here, the goal of this channel is to help intermediate English language students practice and improve their English skills by using movies as the main topic. If you like our content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hugh Jackman plays the popular X-Men character in Logan. Australian actor Hugh Jackman is a multiple award winner. He first appeared on stage and on television before landing the iconic role of James Logan Howlett, also known as Wolverine, in the X-Men movie franchise. In 2022, Jackman announced that he will play Wolverine one last time for the next Deadpool sequel for Marvel Studios. 2017's Logan was directed by James Mangold, the critically acclaimed director of Ford vs. Ferrari. Mangold is currently directing the latest installment in the Indiana Jones movie franchise. After the critical and financial success of The Wolverine, Mangold was hired to direct the sequel, 2017's Logan. Logan was the best received film in the X-Men franchise, with many critics hailing it as one of the greatest superhero films ever made. To hail means to publicly praise or show approval for a person or achievement. At the 90th Academy Awards, it was nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay, making it the first live-action superhero picture to be recognized for Best Screenplay. Following Deadpool's massive box office success, Fox Studios gave filmmaker James Mangold and his team the green light to make Logan, which was to be the final film starring Hugh Jackman as the Wolverine. The green light means permission to start or continue something, such as a project. It's a dramatic, violent, and thrilling movie with a lot of unexpected twists and turns. It's a suspenseful, brutal thriller with a lot of startling, gruesome mayhem and graphic violence. Gruesome means extremely unpleasant and shocking. The story of Logan takes place in the year 2029 when no more mutants have been created in years and Logan is suffering as his healing ability deteriorates. To heal means to make or become well again, especially after a cut or other injury. Logan and a mutant tracker named Caliban look after the 19-year-old Charles Xavier, Logan's mentor and the founder of the X-Men, in an abandoned factory. To look after means to take care of someone or something. Logan unwillingly agrees to accompany Gabriela Lopez, a former nurse, and Laura, a little girl, to Eden, a shelter up north over the Canadian border. A shelter is a place giving temporary protection from bad weather or danger. Donald Pierce, who is Transigen's Cyber Chief of Security, is on the lookout for Laura. On the lookout means to watch or search for something or someone. When the Reavers arrive, Xavier has a seizure, rendering everyone unconscious except for Logan and Laura, who kill the attackers. A seizure is a sudden uncontrolled electrical disturbance in the brain. After assisting a farmer and his family, Logan, Laura, and Xavier accept an invitation for dinner at their home. Rai sends out X-24, a clone of Logan, who murders Will's family and Xavier and kidnaps Laura. X-24 outmatches Logan, but Will pins him down with his vehicle and shoots him with a shotgun before succumbing to his wounds. With Xavier's body in their position, Logan and Laura flee. To flee means to escape or run away. X-24 attacks Logan while the kids band together to kill Pierce and the surviving Reavers. A Reaver is a robber or outlaw belonging to a gang and typically operating in an isolated or lawless area, like a bandit, robber, or pirate. X-24 escapes and impales Logan on a big tree branch. Laura loads the adamantium bullet into Logan's gun and shoots X-24 in the head, killing him. She then tearfully recognizes Logan as her father, and he dies in her arms. When talking about the film Logan, we will most likely discuss what Wolverine used to be in the past, as well as the things he used to do. We will probably talk about the things Logan got used to doing to survive. Do you know the difference between used to and be used to? Before we continue, I would like to invite you to check out my online course at Thinkific. The Learning English with Movies course was designed for intermediate English language students who love movies and filmmaking. 
You can practice your English reading and listening skills, learn new vocabulary and grammar, and confirm your comprehension with fun quizzes. The Learning English with Movies Kindle ebook is also available from Amazon. For more information, as well as fun and useful tips and recommendations, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Now, let's get back to the video. Used to plus infinitive and be or get used to plus ing have very different uses. We use used to plus infinitive to talk about a past situation that is no longer true. It tells us that a former action or situation that was repeated has altered. Example, Logan used to be a member of the X-Men many years ago. She didn't used to talk to strangers, but then she met Logan. Be used to and get used to are followed by a noun, pronoun, or the ing form of a verb and can be used about the past, the present, or future. Be used to means be familiar with or be accustomed to. For example, he's used to working odd jobs to make a living. He wasn't used to not healing fast and his wounds slowed him down. We use get used to to talk about the process of becoming familiar with something. For example, he's finding his new responsibility hard, but I'm sure he'll get used to it soon. It took Logan many years to get used to living on the run. Thanks for watching. What's your favorite movie featuring Logan? Who do you think should replace Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in future X-Men movies? Write down your thoughts in the comments below.